Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh my god, I'm so cold, I'm so tired, I'm thirsty, but I think it's time for me to hop on here and welcome you, you guys to the horror part of my YouTube. If you hear something in the background. Bro, we all have guns too, bro. My husband's playing video games, so just bear with us for a minute. Ooh, it just made it even creepier. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna be trying out a bunch of candies that I bought at Five and Below. So before I show y'all my candy haul, let me read y'all this story. And then I'll probably pause it for a minute. It says, 10 years ago, I was returning home from a road trip with two friends. Yeah. I received a phone call from my parents asking when would we be arriving, and I explained that we were about 25 minutes away. Mm -hmm. About a minute later, we came around a bend. Yeah. Um, it was a full right? moon. And we could see the reflection from the lake from a lake just... below us. And other than the road was completely empty. Was Suddenly everything went completely dark in the in the sick. car. No lights from the dash or gauges or headlights on the road. The music also stopped. And we restarted at the beginning of the C D we were listening to about one fourth of a mile in front of us. There was a vehicle pulled over by the police that hadn't been there a split second before. I assumed I had dozed off or just for a second. It was late. I thought it was still quite peculiar though. After about a minute, the driver of the car tuned the music or all the way down. You want to go more in the circle? and you said, an did that just too. happen to anyone else? Oh, you're not too far from this one too. The other passenger in the back so seat sat forward abruptly and explained, I thought I just fell asleep. We then realized that the clock in the car was reading an hour later than it just had a minute before. What? Okay, like, I'm not saying what, like, I don't understand. I'm just like, what? To keep ourselves from freaking out, we decided that the car had possibly had a momentary electrical failure and reset the clock to an odd time. Turned off the dash lights, headlights, Let's take it this and ga God, ga God, good. Okay. gauges uh -huh. and restarted the CD player. But when we arrived home 25 minutes later, we were one hour late. I am missing an hour of my life, and to this day, I have no huh? idea how it happened. It's insane. I don't know, like... Has that ever happened to any of y'all? Like... Leave a comment down below if y'all like... I'm trying to recall. I mean, you think you would remember that, right? This one... I they oh okay, so the first one was called Time Lost. I didn't realize these had names. The second one it's called Teleport. Before I start the second story, I'm gonna start off with the. Key. How do you guys like my new haircut? I got it maybe two weeks ago. I'm probably lying. Two three weeks ago. I just needed to cut my hair. You don't want to keep the fuck out of I've it. been wearing extensions, by the way. If y'all look at my other videos, like my hair looks so luscious. But there's not, I know. I want to try these. So like I said, the second story is called teleport. Like teleportation. I'm going to try the red one. I'm a big fan of red ones. Okay, so like, how do you eat these? I don't want to open it the wrong way, but like... You probably got ghosts. Mm. Okay. Probably where you can see them. So 
so I'll drink and read. I had a friend who used to have absence seizures, medication. Quickly as possible, the gas is moving. Would prevent him from having them for the most part. But occasionally, weird things would happen. One time, we both got to work and we got out of the car and walked to the entire length of the parking lot and into the building. At which point he gave me a really confused look and asked me how we managed to seemingly teleport from the car into the building. Basically he started the action of walking towards the building and then began having a seizure, which didn't stop until we had an entire, in yeah, until they truck. entered Under, the building. His body just automated the process of walking and he had no memory of it. He was really confused. Wow. Third one is called Dream. Ooh, I love a good nightmare dream or a good dream. When I was a teenager, I had two really intense dreams one night. The first one was about an online hey, friend of mine um, calling me I'll to say she'd broken up with her boyfriend. And I sang a few lines of seals very don't very cry to her over the phone. The second dream was finding a real life friend I'm dead friend's dead body floating her in her bathtub. I didn't think anything of it up until I logged online that evening and the online friend, friend <laughs> came online to tell me her boyfriend broke up with her. I immediately asked if I can call her and she said no. I remember thinking that it meant something like I could change it. Not long after my phone rang and it was my real life friend from the dream calling me. I was completely freaked out at this point but talked to her normally. She was just talking about school and shit. Up until I realized I heard a splash in the background and I asked her are you in the tub? And when she said yes I felt like my heart had stopped. I asked her, what did you do? She didn't answer me right away. And then a very long pause. She told me she had taken an entire bottle of pills and chased it with mushrooms and vodka. She had gotten scared waiting for it to hit hit her. So she called me so she'd hear someone's voice. I hung up and called 911. By the time they got there, she was unconscious, but alive. Today, She's a mom to a beautiful little girl, and she's okay. Damn, man. I feel like I can say that I know somebody who's had a dream like that, only because recently my uncle passed away, which was my dad's older brother. And before he passed away, I was supposed to be having um, Mila's first birthday party at my tia's house, right? Let me try and get to and so um, I broke his armor. it was on a certain day that I had um, canceled right, it. Right. I'm going left. Not only because my siblings weren't going to be there, something was telling me just cancel it. You know, like you can always reschedule it, which I haven't. He's going upstairs. Mm. But it's okay, you know, they're birthdays. So the day I canceled Mila's party, which was the day, the same morning, my tia called me. She's like, saying, hey, I'm trying to get a hold of your dad. He's not answering. Rewind, they told me my uncle passed away that morning of the day I was supposed to have Mila's, my daughter's party. I felt like that was a sign to me to cancel it because God knew something new that that wasn't the day the party was supposed to happen because he knew that he was going to be gaining an angel right. and i'm gonna skip ahead over to my brother my older my older brother michael had a dream i can't remember the details all i know is that in this dream he was somewhere dressed up fancy like but like not like an exciting way he saw people crying he saw one of our cousins Sari Sari told him that which is my uncle's 
kid, the one that passed away, which is my cousin. Sari told my older brother, something's wrong with um, our dad. He needs help. Like, he's not going to make it. Some, like, she came to him in this dream the day before he passed yeah, away. It's, it's, uh... And told him, like, that he's sick, you know, basically, in this dream. Hey, let's get some more so animal. then the next day, my dad, my brother wakes up telling my dad this. And... Like, as soon as yeah, really Michael told my dad, um, my dad gets a hold of my dad, my dad and tells him. And my Shout dad's just freaking far. out because my brother had this dream. His brother just passed away. Like, this is like the dreams I've been having when my wella comes to me in my dreams. And... Uh, it was just like, I feel like I can compare it to what this story that I just read to you guys because we are all connected to the spirits, to God, yeah. to whoever your the yeah, higher being is, is. is, a, is even angry. to loved ones that passed on, you know what I mean? There's a way they communicate with us and even, even if it's in a dream, listen. because the people that contacted my brother they're alive right now so that's what i don't understand maybe because he was Keep close to them growing up this yeah. one is called scary face it has like a really creepy face one time my wife and i were coming back from dinner night out when i opened the door of the house she was sitting on the computer working as I usually find her when I get uh, home. Nothing unusual, except she there was is. entering the house with me. I shrugged it off and carried on. We went to bed and I told her that I saw her sitting at the computer and she goes, oh, dead serious, sniper. Sniper. and told me that when I had opened the door, she saw herself sitting at the computer working. Uh, it was the creepiest thing the I've ever experienced guys. combined with the fact that our neighbor's two-year-old daughter Probably used to point at the TV when it was off and tell us that the person on the screen Can't was making him. scary faces and that she didn't want to go away. Didn't help us getting much sleep that night. What the fuck? Like... Mm -mm, no, 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 no. Number five. Oh, I sound like chills. Ooh. Number five, it's called the phone call. Oh my God, I need some water. Give me a sec. I was sitting in my car with just my dad and I distinctly heard my sister, who was at home, say, are you guys almost home? I'm scared in a very specific concerned tone of voice. Two seconds later, my dad's phone rings. Guess who's on the line? My sister. She said, are you guys almost home? I'm scared, in the same concerned voice. I was pretty freaked out. What? What? Huh? So they were sitting in the car and they heard their daughter and sister. Who was at home? Like, like how? How, how do y'all both hear the exact same thing? I don't know. Number six, cause I'm trying to scare myself before I go to bed. I don't know, it's just something I like to do. It's, it's the adrenaline rush, knowing that these things exist out there. This one's called Dream. I have a sleep tracking app on my phone that has a setting for lucid dreams what real quick there's an app for that you must be paying good money for it to know when you're lucid dreaming dreaming honey it will start saying you are dreaming repeatedly in a woman's voice with a bit of an echo i was at work one day when i started hearing the voice randomly every minute or so i checked my phone and as soon as the screen turned, I woke up in my bed. Wait, as the sun was rising, a bit freaked out 
and I went to take a shower. Then on my way to work, I started to hear the voice again through the radio. When I turned my car off, a bit freaked out again, I once more woke up in my bed as the sun was rising. Then happened about three or four more times. All the different times of the day, I didn't trust reality no, for about a week like after that and, and still refused to use that particular setting of the app. What the fuck, dude? I wouldn't trust reality either if I kept hearing that I mean, shit and waking up in my fucking bed. Like, I, I just wouldn't even be dreaming. I'd be in a fucking nightmare. I don't know. That would be like a whole totally different dimension reality. This one's called fines. Like, ticket fines as a picture of police. I got a call from a police officer telling me if I didn't pay some old fines within a week, he would come and arrest me. The total was $267.63. It was about two weeks before Christmas, so I was really, I was really sweating it. The very next day, I got a check in the mail for $267.63. And 63 cents overpaid child support throughout the year. It was the craziest, most unexplainable thing I have ever had happen to me. Okay, that wasn't creepy. That was just maybe a blessing in disguise. Yeah, we'll just call it that. This one is called an accident. I want to grab another candy, but I'm scared. Ooh. I want to try this one. It's called the Warhead Sour Watermelon Squeezy. I don't like it. It's sour, but it just tastes gross. All right, next story. I was heading home with my dad. We stopped at a drive-thru. I started feeling more and more anxious for no reason to the point where it made me lightheaded and sick to my stomach. We have to wait a little bit ahead because they gave us the order wrong. So I sit there feeling like shit and it suddenly comes to me an urge, an urge to call my brother. He was trying to call us. He was in a car accident. No one died. Some got seriously bruised and he was only he was only shaken. I told him to shut up and get as far as away from the car as possible. He didn't understand but followed through. Trying to call some of his buddies and I can hear them calling him a wuss. Him giving up and getting far and then a loud noise, people shouting. After the whole shit was over, he told me what had happened. His drunk friend tried to impress some girls in the car, hit the gas, drifted, and hit the bottom of the car on some rocks, completely destroying the engine. Uh, they stood near the car, the driver still inside, trying to turn the engine back on. The hood burst into flames, and the car started to burn fast. The driver managed to get away, but got severely hurt. Some of the guys and girls who stood around were hurt and burned too, but not as bad as the driver. My brother was the only one with the light bruises from the whole thing. He told me that when I ordered him to get away from the car, he was in front of it, inches from the hood. I never experienced anything like this before. And after after just this once, it's just a weird memory. I don't remember what I was thinking. I remember it like watching a movie and seeing myself and everything from the outside. I feel like, in my opinion, that was an angel sending you to help them. Okay, one more. This one's called Glazed Eyes. I was catching a sky train in one particular city about 15 minutes from where I got off. While I wait, there was a woman with glazed eyes asking people for money. She came up to me and stopped briefly and asked, excuse me, could you spare me some money? My brother is in the hospital and I'd like some money to buy him some flowers. That's a rich thought. Drug addicts are getting more and more obvious with their lines. Here's $5. Gave it to her without even looking her in the face. 
convinced of her intentions. Anyways, my train pulls up and I get on. I look through the glass at her walking around asking others for money as the train pulls away. The train arrives at the station 15 minutes later and I walk down and out of the bus stop. There is my only so one friends, bus, the direction social, I'm going in. And just my oh, luck, no, right it is there waiting when I get off the train. So on the bus, I hop and wait for the bus driver to finish reading his paper before the doors close and we embark <laughs> down the highway. About five, 10 minutes later traveling, the driver pulls over for a route stop. The doors open and my complete astonishment, the woman from the sky train walks into the bus. A dozen roses in her hand. She looks, looks me right in the eyes. And she walks past to take her seat. How in the blue hell did she get there? I took the train before her. I watched her at the train stop from inside as we pulled away. I went over a river. I caught the first and only bus going to this particular direction. And not only did she beat me there, she had time to go to the store and buy a dozen roses. To this day, I have no idea how this happened. So, yeah, you guys, um, let me know what y'all thought of my glitch in the Matrix. They all call them glitch in the Matrix story, but I liked them. I feel like my favorite one was the one about the the couple that came back from the party and she saw herself sitting at her desk doing her work. Let me know what y'all guys thought. Let me know if you wanted me to be doing more story times like this. I want to upload more, but I'm still in the process of looking for good stories. Y'all want to send me some. Y'all know my social medias. My email's linked. I believe so. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I noticed a lot of you guys are not yet subscribed, so don't forget to turn on that post notification bell. And y'all yeah, will be notified when my next video is posted. Love you guys. Good night.